Hey guys, if you watched my previous video, you would have seen that I created two bubble candles, one with 412 row kerosoy wax and the other one with rapeseed wax. So as promised, I'm going to go over quickly how I found using the rapeseed wax and just the minor differences that I found between the two. Also, a little announcement, a little plug to myself. I created a new page called Kima Academy. You guys inspired me, okay? I love creating candles and soaps and just generally things with my hand and I also love helping people. So I decided to create an Instagram page. I also have a new Facebook group, so please follow both of them. And what I'll be doing is basically sharing tips and resources, you know, things I might not necessarily be able to upload onto YouTube, but things like places where you can buy your wax, any candle or soap wax tips, anything to do with content creating, just everything that I know, I'm just going to plug out on these pages. And yeah, you guys are my inspiration. So thank you for helping me help you back. Rapeseed wax is a, another form of vegetable wax. I know a lot of people do not want to use paraffin, so they often use soy or coconut or even other kind of candle waxes so rapeseed that i've seen around I, I think i'm saying it right rapeseed or rapé seed anyway um so i have seen this wax around i've never really wanted to explore it because i'm so happy with 4120 but obviously live more use kima 10 for 10 percent off live more sent me some for to try out and here's how it went so initially, in terms of colour, there isn't that much of a difference. This is the 4120 and this is the rapeseed. They are both very similar, so that's all great. However, the differences show when I turn them around. As you can see, the 4120 wax is very soft compared to the rapeseed wax. This is hard. Like, when I took this out from the mould, it was rock solid and there's not this see how there's a slight sheen to the 4120 it's it's very matte so that was one of the first things that i noticed when i took the rapeseed out of the mold that it was very hard and it was very matte um there is no pros and cons of the texture of it but other than the fact that it is more hardy so i melted it to 80 and then i poured it at around 70. um i did do my research and it did say around 65 to 75 so i decided to go in the middle and i poured around 70. however this wax cooled down so quickly i couldn't keep up with it every time i tried to pour it was literally cooling as I was pouring it out of the jug. So you have to work very quick with this wax. Um, I can't say that much of the hot throw because I didn't add any fragrance oil in it. But generally speaking, rapeseed isn't a bad wax. Um, I think it is less accessible than 4120. Um, I will continue using 4120 because 4120 is the best wax in my opinion. Um, yeah, so this was just a quick one for anyone who was wondering what the hell rapeseed wax was and what it's like when handling when making candles. In the next video, we're going to be making wax melts. I've never made wax melts, but I'm going to for the first time. So make sure you tune into that one and follow me on all my social media. Follow Kima Academy, join the Facebook group. Let's get talking and just really start building out this community because you guys, you guys are great. video you would see no okay what did i just say what did i just say